In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how Decroft runs the best U-Trips offense in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you just for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping you become the best Madden player that you can possibly become. And every single day, what we do on YouTube is we just release videos just like this one that can help you out on both the offensive side of the ball as well as the defensive side of the ball. And so if you want to get better at this game, I would just encourage you to go ahead and click that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. We upload videos every day that I truly think will make you a better Madden player. So if you want to get better, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And also, we are talking today about the U-Trips offense. And if you want to get my personal ebook or my personal guide that I did on this offense, breaking down exactly how to master this offense, I'm going to leave a link to that guide in the description of this video. You can get the full U-Trips offensive scheme for just 10 bucks down in the description. It's completely broken down with all the audibles, all the setups that you can need to dominate in this game. So if you want to get it, this is one of my favorite, favorite offenses. And I think I think if you would uh, test check it out, you're gonna think, you're gonna find out that you know this offense is ridiculously effective. So in today's video, we are simply talking about what I believe to be deep, one of Decroft's favorite passing concepts in this game. And that concept is the tight end whip out of the uh, Y off trips pats. As you can see right here, the tight end whip. And what we're going to do with this is we're gonna put the R1 receiver on a streak, just like so. We're gonna place the circle receiver on a smart routed comeback route. And then what I personally like to do is you could block the running back. If you don't wanna block the running back, then I would recommend putting him on a little five yard option route. And the first defense that I wanna share this with you against is a max coverage nickel 335 wide Mike Blitz three. So this is a great offensive play if you want to beat the Mike Blitz 3. So to snap the ball, what we're going to do is we're just going to basically read this streak route. And oftentimes what's going to happen is, as you'll see here, this middle safety is going to bite down, leaving that streak over the top wide open. Let me go into instant replay and just break this down for you. This is what is so effective about this U-Trips offense. It truly is one of the glitchiest offenses that I've ever seen Decroft is a master at this, and you know we you know kind of studied from him and then kind of put our own spin on things, and you'll find all of that in the guide. But as you'll see right here, this safety literally just goes away. I mean, he's literally just he. What's happening is basically the safety. If you watch his eyes, he is occupied by this post. So once this post comes into this middle grid, this middle third grid, which is essentially inside the inside the hash marks, you see that he is going to basically flip out go down to the post route and leave this wide open. Let me show you this one more time. Again, all our, our adjustments are we're gonna put the R1 receiver on a streak, the circle receiver is gonna be on a smart route to come back, and then the running back is going to be on an option route. And I'm just going to um, run this against a max coverage Mabel uh, nickel three through five wide Mike Blitz three. This is how to bomb Mike Blitz three for a one play touchdown or just an absolute laser. You see here he does it again. And again, as long as you have a gunslinger quarterback and a pretty fast guy right there, this is almost always going to be a one-play touchdown, as you can see right there. So what is the defense to do, right? What do they do to stop this? Well, one of the things that they can do, and one of the tricks in their arsenal, is they can go into a cover four style of defense, as you can see right here, a uh, little cover four. And basically how this is going to work is, again, this is another max coverage. But what you'll see is now what we're gonna have is we're gonna have four across. And so this play is still super glitchy, but you're gonna have you know a little bit more success. Now, uh, as you can see right there, I, they, even though they take the deep vertical route, they're not going to take the underneath route to the post. So you're gonna have the post wide open. Um, it just allows them to be able to stop that vertical route. Now, if you watch this against man coverage, you're going to see that this little whip route to the tight end is probably one of the best man beaters in the entire game. That's where you want to look. If you're faced with man coverage, the two places you want to look is you want to look to your tight end, and then you also want to make sure that you're looking to your running back. Oftentimes your running back is going to be wide open against man coverage. One of the other things that I didn't say is that when I um, when when D. Croft runs this offense, he always puts his best wide receiver at the solo receiver, at least in regs. And so, um, as you see here, that's Devontae Adams, who has route tech. And oftentimes, he's going to be able to get open 
against man-to-man -man coverage as well. So you have all of these little features of this offense. Now, like I said, the best the best way for the defense to be able to really defend this, in my personal opinion, is to simply run um, cover or uh, cover four. But cover four does leave vulnerabilities of its own, like the post round and things like that. As far as cover two goes, um, you're oftentimes going to be able to hit this up the seam. As you saw right there, they actually did a pretty good job. You can typically hit that R1 receiver up the seam, and if you can't hit him up the seam, then you pretty much can bank on the fact that you're gonna, you know, they're gonna be going vertical to that. And so what you can do as a result is you should be able to hit this square receiver when he comes across. You know, you see all this open, all this open grass and spacing, and that's the beauty of the U trips. It's one of the glitchiest offenses in the game. It's probably, if you were to ask me why this is such a powerful little scheme, it's because it combines a lot of the powerful principles of the spread offense, the bunch offense, and the trips tight end offense rolled into one little offense. And so, as you can see, um, this thing is just super glitchy. It can literally glitch out Mike Blitz 3 for a one-play touchdown. The beauty of this is it's not just a middle third glitch. Um, let me show you. I didn't talk about this real quick. Um, but the beauty of this is it's not just a middle third glitch. or um, It's not just like a Mike Blitz 3 glitch. It's, it's kind of a middle third glitch. So, for example, if they have like deep halves over there like yes the deep half will kind of like save them but as you can see you have all of this room now to be able to hit your post underneath so the U trips offense is just super super glitchy and if you have not gotten my offensive guide yet on it and you want to learn how to run this offense to perfection so that you can use it in weekend league or tournaments or money games I'm going to leave a link to this offensive guide in the description of this video you can get my complete U trips offensive guide for just 10 bucks in the description it will literally walk you through step by step how to master what i believe and what i would say is definitely the glitchiest and the most innovative offense in madden 21 so shout out to d Croft. he's a legend and runs this offense really really well if you want to learn my spin on the offense and kind of what i do and how i run it then I would encourage you to get that guide in the description. Like I said, it's just 10 bucks. And if you have any questions, you can text me. My number is 208-218-6900.